Hey guys, in this video I am going to be talking Garmin heart rate monitors. So we're going to look at the HRM Try and also the HRM Swim and I will go through the pros and cons of both. If you're trying to decide which Garmin heart rate monitor you want to buy then this video is for you. I'm going to switch to the my external microphone normally wired up so the sound's not going to be quite as good but it will mean I can get my top off and show you how these heart rate monitors work. Let's get into these heart rate monitors and I will also tell you about the new Garmin heart rate monitors, the HRM Run and the HRM Dual as well. So first of all the HRM Try. If you get the Forerunner Triathlon bundle you actually get both of these heart rates and this one is designed basically for everything. So this is by far the most comfortable one. And it's got a nice stretchy band that will stay in place. So you have it on quite tight and even on quite tight, it's comfortable. It's not really gonna move much. Nice and small. Both of these are Ant Plus only. So they will connect to your Ant Plus devices. If you're gonna use something like Zwift on your computer or your phone, then you're gonna to need to buy an Ant Plus adapter or you're gonna to need to get a different heart rate monitor. We'll go into that in a bit more detail. Now this is, this is my go-to heart rate monitor, the HRM Try, because it does almost everything really well and it's really comfortable. I can wear this all day without getting too worried about it. I get six months battery life out of it, so I've been, been training with it for over a year and I've had to change the battery twice. And it's pretty easy to do that. You just pull, I say, when it's quite difficult. There you go. You just pull this little rubber cap off, remove the screws, and it's just a standard watch battery that sticks underneath there. And what? The limitations are, why would we use the HRM Swim? Well, so there's two problems in that one, when you're in the pool and you push off from the side, it's not, it is fairly grippy, but it's not so grippy that if you dive in or you kick off from the side, it's gonna slip a bit. And the other problem is that it's not totally protected against pool chemicals. So it's gonna have a sh shorter shelf life than the HRM swim. How long that is, I don't know. It's fine to me, I haven't really used it in a pool much. But Garmin say you can use it in a pool. So for example, if you're doing a pool-based sprint triathlon, they say, yeah, you can use it in a pool, just make sure you rinse it off afterwards. But generally they recommend using the HRM swim in a pool where there are pool chemicals because it's a bit better protected. So let's compare it. It's really similar design, really similar size but there's a couple of differences to talk about here. So, again, looks pretty much the same when on. It's a little less comfortable though. And that's because on the inside, it is all rubber matting. So when this is just a nice stretchy band, this is doesn't have that stretch because it's all rubber and the rubber sticks to your skin so that when you kick off from the pool side, then it doesn't slip down. Now, if you're doing it under clothing, this is fine, but if you're just bare chested, you really want that rubber to stick. And again, it's more resistant to those pool chemicals. That said, there are definitely limitations to the HRM Swim. So because it doesn't have that flexibility, if you're using it in a non-swim workout, I tried using this in spin class once because I'd forgotten my main heart rate monitor and it just fell off. It literally fell off in the middle of the class because it works great in the pool, but when you're huffing and puffing and it's, it's just not designed to be used outside the pool and so it fell off. The other thing I've noticed is that this, this end here where you can adjust the length with the straps here, it is always getting a bit longer and regularly when I go to the pool, I have to readjust the strap to make it shorter again because over time it gradually pulls out, which is pretty annoying. So this is good for the pool, but 
If you're wanting a more all-round heart monitor, HRM Tri is great. Just to mention the other heart rate monitors that Garmin do, so they've just added a HRM Run, which as far as I can tell looks really similar to the HRM Tri, but it's a bit cheaper. The HRM Run is water resistant as well. I don't know if it's as water resistant as these two, but it, Garmin certainly don't mention that you could use it in a pool and it certainly isn't pool chemical resistant. So if you're, if you're not doing anything in the pool, then it looks like a cheaper option. If you are gonna go in the pool, I'd probably still recommend that you go for one of these. The other one they've added is the HRM Jewel and that is bigger but it does Bluetooth as well as AMP Plus. So if you want something that will connect to Zwift, your phone, your computer, then the HRM Dual might be a good option. However, it's a much bigger unit on here. So these kind of sit directly within the band. They're not spilling over the top. You compare that something to like the Polar H10, and that's it's a much bigger unit if you compare them size to size, and it's just bigger in every dimension. And by the look of it, the Garmin HRM Dual is gonna be the same thing as that. So it gives you that added flexibility, but it also means it's bigger. I'm not sure what it's like in the pool. So hopefully that's given you an idea of the difference between HRM Tri and HRM Swim and Garmin's other heart rate monitors. As I say, the HRM Tri is my go-to heart rate monitor. I do use a swim any time I get in the pool. If you found this video useful, then please hit subscribe so you get all my latest videos in your feed. And also, if you want to check out my other reviews of heart rate monitors, then I will stick those on now and below as well. And you'll be able to find those reviews and compare between Garmin and non-Garmin stuff.